So guys, welcome back another episode uh, of stripping down the 3.0 M54. How to do leak down test? I'm already doing. It doesn't matter how much leak I got. You can clearly see there's a problem. I set up the top center on cylinder number one, and I got leakage in cylinder number two. So that confirms head gasket. How bad is it? I'm not sure. Not really sure what's going on. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm doing something wrong because there's many things to do today. But uh, it shouldn't be like that. That's for sure. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do removal of intake manifold, other bits and pieces. But first, I wanna remove that uh, main pulley and because it's very hard to remove. So I'm gonna focus on that later manifold how to do it you can visit my channel there's many videos how to do simple stuff heavy engine like that there's no problem but what I'm gonna do is uh, try to remove the head today and check uh, what's going on because this coloration in this engine is not so bad and I can see these uh, lobes on the camshafts are great actually very sharp in here not smooth like I saw on the other engine but this head gasket problem it might be it might be a very bad situation so I need to check what's going on and later what to do next should I order more parts or not how to remove cylinder head I did already on my channel and there's a special special procedure to any cylinder head, but mainly when you have uh, aluminium block and aluminium cylinder head. But aluminium block is the the most uh, uh, difficult part in uh, new modern engines. What's happening? This bolt creating a lot of pressure is trying to pull the threads out. So if you're gonna remove that thread, I mean that bolt in one turn one go you are creating a lot of heat this heat will cause this thread to so get soft and later when you're trying to torque down the cylinder head when you finished you might pull the thread out so what you need to do is do step by step click 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 later 5 uh, degree angle maybe 10 20 un until it's loose and you don't just do like I see seen people like been doing like front to the back which is crazy you, you're causing warpage you are asking for trouble so how to do it is very easy just read the manual Bentley manual and it's all there so I will try to do it today and mm, see what I need for this project should I scrap this engine or not so bear with me and we hopefully gonna find out what's going on As you can see, I got vanos removed. It's pretty easy process. Uh, also, the timing components are loose, are off. How to do it? You can visit my channel. But today, I, will, I just want to get deep down to that uh, head gasket and see whatever I can save this engine or not. So, if yes, all these parts gonna be stripped down to bear cleaned up reused and put it back on okay guys so we got some bad news as the leak down test told me we have a problem uh, there's a leak on 
almost every cylinder which is not great however the head gasket is still looking not bad it's not like cracked or something but it's uh, leaking between cylinders so you're thinking why I'm using such a shitty ruler made of uh, aluminium because tell you what this ruler checked three blocks and three cylinder heads where three blocks were okay and only one cylinder I mean two cylinder two cylinder heads were good so one was bad and that gives me the thinking that this ruler is not so bad actually but the thing is this is not accurate check but I just want to show you guys where I am so this is uh, 0 2 Point two millimeter, so I can slide that in with a little bit of drag. But cylinder number two, three, especially in the middle, I can do it easily. Where on the block, Do it. I, I checked that before and it's only one cylinder is showing small damage I can slide that 0 0.05 mil so five hundredths of a mil probably if I clean the block properly uh, not even that so block is fine cylinder head is not really great but Another thing I want to check for cracks here because I can see the discoloration in here like uh, um, gases, excess gases was trying to was passing through the cooling ports so that's another indication so how great it, it is to do leak down test before you start uh, project buying parts everything just to lead down test so I now know what I'm gonna do next instead of investing money I don't know I need to check that cylinder head properly but I still have a still have a used one over there from uh, 3 to 8 which is exactly the same small difference I was explaining the difference before on my channel I think but the other cylinder head is fine There's, I can squeeze 0 0.05 here 0 0.2 so four times more than the other one maybe 15 I still could save that cylinder head and uh, just buy thicker gasket if they came too much. But I'll show you something more. It's like a scale. So I don't know. I need to rethink that. I could use my original three point, uh, sorry, two point five, which is on the car right now. I just can swap that it with this one because the head was done two years ago there's no problem it's straight uh, but before I do that I will carry on working on the block checking clearances bores maybe maybe it's total crap I don't know so no optimistic uh, news for now and see you next time thank you